I tested the Pamela Rive workout plans for one year and here's what happened. Weird times like these require motivation, positivity and strength. I want to share my personal experience of what enabled me to keep a positive outlook on life during this past year. I followed the Pamela Rive workout plan and diet for one year. Pamela Reif is one of Germany's most famous influencers. She is known for her intense workouts and delicious recipes. And she even made it on the Forbes 30 under 30 list. Like, wow. But ever since Germany went into lockdown and gyms were shut down, Pamela decided to create workout plans on Instagram and uploaded home workout videos on her YouTube where she now has a following of over 6 million subscribers. Also, she recently released her Pam app, which provides healthy recipes and food knowledge. So the story that I want to share today is how I transformed my lifestyle and how I lost 20 pounds during lockdown. So we will talk about workouts, her plans, what I like and don't like about them, nutrition, obviously the Pam app, her cookbook and general food rules and knowledge that I acquired, and something that I like to call the workout life balance, which is how I maintained that lifestyle for a year and made it work in a really busy schedule personal growth, which is my physical changes, motivation, journey, how much I lost, how much I gained, my kilograms, body fat, etc. And of course, the before and after pics. Let's start with workouts. Pamela releases new workout plans every week. They are completely free and you can find them on her Instagram. You can choose between a beginner, a 30 minute or a 45 minute slow, sweaty or dance plan. So I always loved working out, but I decided to take it more seriously in December 2019. This is my before picture and I took that with no intention at all of ever showing it to anybody. As you can see, I definitely wasn't overweight or anything, but I also didn't have any definition. I wanted to get more toned, gain muscle and overall be healthier. So I started by adapting her gym workout plans from her story highlight. And as soon as lockdown started, I chose to follow the 45 minute sweaty home workout plan. What do I like about her workouts? First of all, they are completely free and you can have different plans to choose from depending on your personal level. What I really enjoy about her workouts is that they are actually fun. She has a great choice of music, focuses on moving her body and she is not stressing about progress or goals. The bodyweight exercises make you feel fitter, you will not get out of breath so quickly anymore, plus you don't have to worry about getting bulky. Now to the cons of her workouts. Gaining muscle can be difficult depending on the body parts that you want to train. I had no issue with gaining abs or booty muscles, but when it came to back muscles, I found it hard to make visible progress. However, she recently started to upload weighted exercises as well, which will help with that. The only other slight complaint that I have is that some of her exercises are not 100% neighbor friendly, so you might have to get used to working out without your shoes. When it comes to nutrition, Pamela has two sources of inspiration, her cookbook and her Pam app. I don't want to spend too much time on the cookbook as I want to go more into detail with the Pam app, but basically I started eating healthy by eating her cookbook and recreating most of her meals. And if you're starting out, I feel like it's good to have something that you can hold in your hand and flick through. When I started this, my goal was to get enough inspiration to start my own household after I moved out and to find a way to make it work in my everyday life. As you know, I am working and I'm studying with a dual system, which means I have very little to no spare time. But we will get into that with the workout life balance section of this video. So now onto the Pam app. The Pam app is a food app with recipes and blog posts about food knowledge. So when you start the app, there is a home feed that shows you your workouts of the day, and new recipes, etc. This changes daily, so on one day you might have lunch ideas, types of porridge or something like that. The main section is the recipe section. This is where you can scroll through all the recipes, like them, save them for later and also add them to your shopping list or to your planner. Next is the blog section, which contains some articles about food knowledge, tips against bloating and things like that. And the workout section contains all the videos from her YouTube channel, which you can then directly also play from the app. My plan is one of my favorite features of the app. And this is where you can plan your meals, your workouts and your shopping lists all in one place. 
You can add the recipe to your meal plan and then all the ingredients that you need to cook a recipe to your shopping list. So what does this app cost? Now the app is free to download, but you can get a premium membership. I'm gonna list all the prices right here. I never bought an app before, but this really got me thinking. A yearly subscription to this app is the exact same amount as if you were to buy one cookbook a year. And let's be honest, for all of us who have our own households, we know that we probably buy even more than one cookbook a year. So I decided to go for a yearly premium membership. So is it worth it? The pros and cons. There is a huge variety of recipes that even my boyfriend enjoys, especially her brother's Asian recipes. Plus the section of sweet treats is incredible. The by far most valuable function of this app to me is the planner and shopping list. Plus I didn't have to save and scroll through workout plans anymore. The only critique I have about the PAM app or the planning function is that you cannot swap meals. So if you add a dinner first and then you decide on a breakfast for the day, the dinner will still show up first on that day. So I would love an option to drag and drop and switch meals. Also, if you are adding meals to your shopping list, all the ingredients will be added to the shopping list as well. Even things like oil or salt that you might already have at home. So. I don't know if this already is an issue that Pamela is onto, but I would personally love check boxes where I can tick off the things that I already have at home so that they won't be added to my shopping list. Also having measurements or quantities on the shopping list is crucial to me. To understand what I like and don't like about the app and her workouts, you need to understand how they function in an everyday life. So the key to implementing a healthy lifestyle in a busy schedule is planning and prepping. A quote that always comes to my head is your physique is determined 80% by what you eat and 20% by how you work out. When I started this journey, it was most important to me that I would be able to maintain the lifestyle even if life got really busy. I wanted to make sure that there was no way I was giving up. I spent a lot of time planning meals, making sure I could use the same ingredients for the next day or prepping my food the night before. Making sure I wouldn't have to cook anything or order anything on the nights that I had to work late or an evening lecture to attend. So the first three months of my journey were all about making sure that there was no scenario I could think of that I wouldn't eat healthy. This is why I was so excited about the food planning and shopping list function of the PAM app, because it was so time saving. Lockdown didn't change anything regarding meal planning or prepping, as I still had working hours and online classes within my usual timetable. If anything, it got easier since I was more flexible. But it definitely got a lot easier to incorporate my workout since I now could use my lunch break at home to work out. Having a set time for working out helped so that I would never ever skip a workout. Before lockdown it was definitely harder since I could only really work out in the evening and sometimes it would just be too late or I wouldn't feel motivated to work out at night. I cannot stress enough how important it is to enjoy what you're doing. I didn't start this journey with this goal of losing 20 pounds. I just wanted to get in shape. I used to see people online losing 10 or 20 pounds with crazy diets, starving themselves. And I used to think to myself that if they could do it, it couldn't be that hard to gain a little bit of muscle and lose a little bit of fat. Well, changes don't happen overnight. And I definitely didn't want to say anything to myself like starting Monday, I will be a healthier person or from now on, I'm not going to eat any chocolates or sweets. I didn't want to restrict myself. What I did instead is I said to myself, starting now, I will try everything possible to get in shape and be healthier. And I'll just test and see how long I could keep up with it. At this starting point, I weighed around 64 kilograms. I never meant for this to last one year or even longer, but I found so much joy in working out and trying new recipes. I would do my workout every single day whether it was a hardcore workout, a Christmas dance or my birthday. I didn't feel the need to skip a day because I had so much joy in working out. I soon felt fitter, more confident and stronger. Especially during lockdown, it felt so good to get my heart rate up at least once a day. 
The longer I followed her workout plans, the less I had to take breaks, until I was able to do the entire workouts without any pauses. This is when I got into the best shape of my life. So before I show you my before and after pics, I quickly want to note a few things about nutrition. I learned that it is not important to label yourself as vegan or vegetarian and that there is more to a fitness approved diet than rice and chicken. The most important thing is to know what you're eating. Pamela is an advocate for natural food, which means organic ingredients, no artificial flavors, no preservatives and no colorings. In a nutshell, one could say, eat what serves you well. For me, it meant I would focus on eating fruits, vegetables and protein sources like eggs or meat. But I wouldn't consume anything with artificial sweeteners or dairy as I noticed that consuming dairy gave me headaches. Tasting all sorts of flavors and combining them with different spices made it incredibly easy for me to be consistent with my diet. At no point did I feel like I had to starve myself, I just learned what normal portions are. I ate 1800 to 2000 calories a day, which shows that I definitely didn't restrict myself. Her recipes make it easy to satisfy sweet cravings without cheating. Either I'd recreate homemade snacks from her food account, her cookbook or her app, or I'd buy Pam approved healthy snacks like hummus chips or nut bars. For a fun fact, I even bought her advent calendar. Plus, it's true what they say, once you're accustomed to not eating sugar, you're not craving it at all anymore. I learned that the food you're eating truly does impact your mood and it lifts your spirit. After all, you are what you eat, right? Before I started this journey, I would get headaches twice a week. I should definitely mention that in my family, migraines are common, which is why I thought I couldn't do anything about it. Now I can tell you that throughout the entire year of 2020, I have had a headache exactly four times in total. Okay, now comes the part we have all been waiting for, the afterpics. I decided to use a Fitbit, which is why I can now tell you exactly how much I weighed, how my body fat percentage was, what I ate, and etc, etc. So I started this journey in December 2019 and I weighed 64 kilograms. This picture was taken in April 2020 and you can definitely see that my abs were showing without me having to flex them and that I gained quite a little bit of booty. When this picture was taken, I weigh exactly 57.2 kilograms. I also toned my legs quite a bit, which you can definitely tell in this picture. You can definitely tell that my legs were toned and I gained a lot of muscle. The thing you'll need to know about weight loss is that you cannot spot reduce. If you lose weight, you will also lose your boobs. With that being said, I'm going to show you my Lena's picture, which was taken in September 2020. So by the time this picture was taken, I weighed 54 kilograms and my body fat percentage was around 15%. Now, this probably isn't 100% accurate since I don't have the most precise scale, but I also didn't really care about what the scale said. I just cared about what I saw in the mirror and I kind of just used the scale for tracking reasons. But after seeing this picture, I decided I wanted to gain weight again. I found it was just too toned, too slim and too defined for me. So I focused on gaining muscle. The next picture was taken in December 2020. You can definitely see that I gained abs and essentially a tiny bit of fat. I weighed 59 kilogram at that point and my body fat percentage was around 17%. Since I started to film this video, I also took a clip of my current body shape, which is definitely not as defined as before, but I definitely prefer it that way. So now I weigh 59.3 kilograms and my body fat percentage is 17.4%. So to conclude this video, I just want to say that I am truly happy with my body and I don't care whether it weighs four kilograms more or less. I just found a healthy and sustainable lifestyle that works for me and I am not in any way advising anyone to do exactly the same thing. I'm not a fitness instructor nor a nutritionist and I just want to share my own personal story. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that I'll see you next time. Bye!